hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing glossier 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 anyways i bought a bunch of makeup and i wanted to try it out so that's what we are going to do today in today's video i hope you guys are doing amazing and grab a snack and let's get to it all right so um i got this as like a free sample so this is their um priming moisturizer so i got this little packet i haven't tried it yet um i did test the other things beforehand just to see how it looks so i kind of already know what i like and i don't like um all right so rip this bad boy i don't know how much oh oh it's kind of like a like a lotion yes okay i definitely should have put just a little bit <laughs> My face feels moisturized. I'm not gonna do my usual routine because that includes other products other than Glossier and I just wanted this to be strictly a Glossier video. So um, we are gonna go in with the Perfecting Skin, skin Tint. Um, I will put the prices down below. Um, so this is their shade G8. I believe this was a good match, I can't remember. I'm just gonna it does come out super like liquidy um i don't really know how i feel about that it says you can use your hands with it, it says shake then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips am i gonna do it i don't know last time i used this it just didn't work out so i'm gonna use a sponge today and see how that works um, okay Pretty much absorbing that whole thing. You know, I'm just gonna put this on my face and see how it goes. So I just don't know how I feel about this because I feel like it's not really, I mean, I understand Glossier's brand is basically to be like very natural makeup. So it's not supposed to be, I guess, full coverage, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can literally still see like my freckles and stuff. So, um, I don't really know how I feel about that. Do I go on with the second coat? Maybe. Okay. Okay, so this is like what my face looks like. Again, it's like very, very, very super light, super natural. Like you can't even really tell I put anything on. So like, guess that's cute. All right, next up is the Stretch Concealer in G9. Um, I think this one might be a little bit too light for me, is what I remember when I first put it on. So, let's see. We have an extension cord, I think, out here, don't we? Yeah, we should. with my morphe i don't know the um style anyway so with the morphe brush i think i'm gonna go in a second So 
that is what the concealer underneath looks like. So far, so good. <laughs> In a lot of these, I did get them in a combo set um, instead of just paying individually because I was trying to figure out what was going to be cheaper and it was actually getting them in a set was um, cheaper. So yeah, I'm going to do my brows next, okay? So I did I also got this in a set. Um, this was the boy brow in brown. And then I also got, oh, sorry, I didn't even show. So this is the boy brow. It honestly, the same packaging reminds me, it's like the exact same packaging of ColourPop's. Um, their brow, I think it's like Brow Wiz, right? I really can't remember what it's called, but their brow gel um, is literally like the same exact packaging. Like, it's kind of weird. Let me show you guys. So this is ColourPop's Brow Boss Gel, and then this is <laughs> Glossy Hair. Uh, similar? <laughs> Very? Anyways, let me put that back. All right. Um, last time I think I put in this first and then I went in with this. So this is the brow flick in brown as well. And it's kind of that same packaging. And it's like, to me, it kind of reminds me of like a liquid liner. So when I first saw this, I was like, the hell? So yeah, but I think I am going to go in the same way I did the first time I tried this out. So that's how that looks with just um, the brow gel. And then for this, um, so the way that the brow flicks works is like either if you don't want to use the brow gel um, and you just have like little kind of like spaces in your brows where you can kind of tell like there's not, nothing really there, but you still want to define it, you'd go in with this. But either way, um, I'm using it with the brow gel. And I'm just going to go in and kind of like fix up these spaces. Not too much, but just a little bit. So that is what my brows look like. Um, I am going to go around and like fix them up a little bit. They are like, <laughs> I haven't gotten them done in a while. So uh, they're not really that cute. But uh, I am going to go in with this BoxyCharm um, brow groomer. better <laughs> freshing them out so now i'm gonna go in with the sky wash sheer matte lid tint so i actually thoroughly enjoyed using this at first when i saw it i was like oh god like this is and this is the packaging um at first when i saw this i was like i don't know about all i like i really don't know about this because it looks like a lip gloss but the way that it works is you put it on your lid and you just like use your finger and like smooth it out.
all right so that is i'm obviously gonna have to fix this <laughs> whenever i go in to fix my concealer um but um that is what it looks like it's like super super light but it's a cute like brown for your lid which i really enjoy <laughs> So that is that. Um, again, I'm gonna go in and I am gonna use my ColourPop E3 brush and I'm gonna use that concealer from before. Okay, so that's kind of fixed. So that is what they look like. It's kind of like super natural, which is cute. And then um, I am gonna go in with the Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color in Puff. And I am gonna use my Lancome 25 brush. It's scared. Jesus. Which is slightly too much, but it's okay. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just do this. Okay. So I have yet to try this out. This is their generation sheer matte lipstick um in like. This is what it looks like. Um, I'll, I'll swatch it. It's kind of like a plumish color. Um. It has like a flower smell to it. Um, that's definitely cute. It doesn't look like I thought it was gonna look. And I did get this little combo that came with um, the sheer matte lipstick the cherrybalm.com and then the lip gloss uh, i did try out this cherry balm um it's kind of interesting the texture it comes out it comes out like very like like that um and it was cute it kind of gave my lips like a very like kind of reddish tint to them but like natural and then um, I did try out this lip gloss the other day and I really liked it. I am going to put it on today as well. And this is their clear transparent, transparent lip gloss. Alright, so again, that is the combo of the sheer matte lipstick in like, and then that is the clear gloss. And then this is the cherrybomb.com, just so you guys see that. I'm a goof and when I was so excited and I got my package of all my things um I immediately like started unboxing them and I did keep the box of the ones that like it didn't tell you what it was on the side and I guess when I was unboxing I did order the mascara but I literally threw it away so I'm really sad about that because I was so excited to try out their mascara. But it's okay, it's fine. Um Glossier, if you're if you see this somehow, somewhere, could you send your girl another one? Anyways, so I am gonna use my e.l.f. lash curler. All right, and I am going to go in with my Ulta Beauty New Heights Lifting Mascara.
try to set my under eye just because I can see it's creasing already. And to set it, I am going to use my ColourPop F20 brush. I'm going to set it. All right, you guys, so that is the finished look today. I will zoom in so you guys can see. Overall, I think it's pretty cool. I like the I like the base of what the company stands for. I that they want to create um, cruelty free. I think it's vegan. Maybe vegan. Um makeup product. I get their idea and I understand um, they kind of want to make makeup that makes you like if you want that natural look that's majority of what their makeup is. So that's great. Um, I do think it was a bit pricey. Um, I do understand cruelty free products be a little more pricey. You are paying for what you um, want. So I understand that. They're perfecting skin tint. It's like I like it because I understand that it's some more like very, very, very sheer coverage. I understand that. But I, I don't think it was right for me. It was very liquidy, very kind of soupy. It kind of ran the minute like you put it on your hand to try to like do anything with it. Um, I know some people use their hands. I haven't really used that technique. So maybe that could be why it's not um, showing the way it does. And... I will update you guys um, the more I use it to s let you guys know if there is a difference when I use my fingers versus the first time I used it was a brush and it kind of just sank into the brush. So then today, like I said, I used my Morphe sponge and it was more um, more coverage than it was when I used my brush. So maybe there's going to be even more coverage when I use my hands. I'm not sure. But for me, the perfecting skin tint wasn't really my jam. The concealer was okay. It's not that full coverage as well like I'm used to with my e.l.f. camo concealer. It's all right if you want very sheer coverage, if you don't have dark circles, if you, I guess, want, like I said, that more natural look, I would totally go for it. But for me, like I said, the foundation and the concealer wasn't really my jam. And also it was kind of like a lot lighter than I thought it would be. So there's that. As for the boy brow and the skin flicked combination, I actually thoroughly enjoyed these. I really like brow gel. They really do give me that fuller kind of look. Um, I do like the brow flick and like the basis of like going in and like getting those spaces that doesn't have hair. I really liked that. I really, really enjoyed this sky wash sheer matte lid tint. I really did enjoy that. I'll maybe have to check out the other colors because I really did like that you just like put it on and then you just smooth it out with your finger and there it is. Like it honestly reminds me of one of my eyeshadows that I use. It reminds me of my Nomad Intense Eyeshadow in Henna. It literally looks exactly like it. Like honestly, whenever I wear it, it looks exactly like this. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I definitely would try those out if you liked any kind of like eyeshadows like that. I did enjoy all of the, enjoy the lip gloss. It doesn't give you that um, super, super glossy feel. It feels very light on the lips. So even by itself, it's super light. It looks, it's very cute. Like I said, the sheer matte lipstick was really pretty on the lips too. I really enjoyed that. I'll have to check out those other colors. I really don't know how I feel about the cherrybomb.com. I know this is a very popular one, but I don't know. I just, I f it felt very kind of... A little bit heavy on the lips. I don't know how I really felt about that. And then I really did enjoy the cloud paint. I need to stop putting on so much. But um, I really did enjoy it. I really wanted to try out this puff little liquidy thing you just put on. And um, just use like your brush or whatever to smooth it out. I really did enjoy that as well. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't get to get the highlighter on um, Glossier. They do have a highlighter. I, I can't remember if they had eyeliner or not. If not, I didn't get it. But yeah, I did really enjoy Glossier. I enjoyed some of these products. Like I said, the perfecting skin tint and the concealer weren't really my jam. 
But I mean, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to try Glossier? Have you tried it? What's your favorite product? And yeah, let, leave some suggestions for videos down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.